number 10A. So I've drawn a little number line on there, as you can see, down over here. And you can ignore this little part over here, but it's basically your regular number line, minus numbers, negative numbers below zero, and positive numbers above zero, going to the right. And the first question, find an integer that is halfway halfway between minus 6 and plus 6. So I'm going to mark both those points. Let's change color. Maybe I'll change to kind of a yellow. So minus 6 is right over here. Maybe I'll change it to red. And there's plus 6 over here. So I've got plus 6 and minus 6. And halfway between. Well, if I count to the left, 6 and I count to the right, 6, I can see that 0 is exactly in the middle. So 0 would be in the middle between negative 6 and plus 6. Let's go to number 2. Halfway between minus 5 and positive 1. So this time I'll go in blue. So minus 5 is here, positive 1 is here. This one's a little bit different. Now I'm going to count the spaces in between these two numbers right here. I see I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the left of the 0 and 1 to the right. So in total I have 6 spaces. So the middle of that is going to be 6 divided by 2 which is going to be equal to 3. So I can take 3 steps in either direction from my minus 5. I can go 1, 2, 3 and that's going to be the location so minus 2 is going to be in between, halfway in between, minus 5 and plus 1. So the answer for 2 is minus 2. Now there's another question here. I'm going to erase this so we can have a little bit of a clean sheet here to start. You can go back if you want to look at that. Whoops, I just erased everything. I guess that's not going to work. Okay, so let's go to number 3, halfway between minus 5 and minus 1. I'll just change colors again. Um, I'll make this like a darkish brown yellow. So minus 5, I'm going to do this in this kind of grayish color, and minus 1 is over here. So now I'm going to count how many steps between minus 5 to minus 1. So I go 1 step, 2 steps, 3 steps, 4 steps between minus 5 and minus 1. So I'm going to go two steps over from minus 5, 1, two steps, and that's going to bring me to minus 3. So the answer in this case would be minus 3. And it is getting messy, so you know what, I'm going to erase this and I'm just going to draw a new one. And we should be good to go here. I'm just going to erase this and draw us a new grid here. And we should be good to go. Okay, here we go. So, number four, one less, one less than plus three. So plus three is over here. That's plus three. And one less is going to be going in this direction. So the answer is going to be plus two. Now let's go to number five. Three more than minus four. So minus four is over here. There's minus four. Three more means I'm going to count one to three steps to the right, and that's going to bring me to minus one. And then number six is four less than minus one. So let's go to minus one. I'll color it in red. There's minus one, and I want four less. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four steps to the left, because when we're going left, that's going in the direction of less. That leaves us at minus five, so the answer would be minus five. And that's the answer for 10a. Question 10b. Explain why the answer for part a, 2, is different from the answer for part a, 3. So let's go back and look at 2 and 3 and see what they were asking. So they were asking halfway between minus 5 and plus 1, and halfway between minus 5 and minus 1, and why those two questions are different. And I think I even may have made a mistake here. Um, um, oh no, pardon me. Um, so let's look at the differences over here. So minus 5 plus 1, minus 5 minus 1. So we'll make a new chart over here. Just 
Just move that out of the way. Okay, so we're going to look at minus 5 and minus 1. So there's minus 1, minus 1, and minus 5. And we were doing in the second example, and I'll do that in black, we were doing minus 5, we'll do that below, minus 5 and plus 1. Well, we can see they're different between minus 1 and minus 5. We have four steps. We go minus 4 if we're going in the direction to the left, from minus 1 to minus 4. But if we're going in that same direction from, minus, from 1, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 steps over. So it'll be, if we go in this direction, it's from 1 to minus 5, it's minus 6 steps. So that's why part A, 2, is different than part 3. Let's look at C. 3 minus 3 is halfway between two integers on a number line. Draw a number line and mark the two integers. So let's draw that number line. There's my number line. And we'll look at minus 3. It's halfway between two integers on a number line. Draw a number 9 and mark the two integers on it. Well, um, we could mark several integers that it's halfway between. All we need to do is take the same number of steps to the right or to the left. So if I took 1, 2, 3, 4 steps to the right, that leaves me at plus 1. And if I took 1, 2, 3, 4 steps to the left, that puts me at minus 7. So we could answer plus 1 and minus 7. That would be one option. So plus 4 this way and minus 4 this way. Minus 3 is in the middle. Another option would be to take, and I'll do this in red, to take two steps. One, two steps to the right. So plus 2 and then two steps to the left. Fuck me, what the fuck? And then two steps to the left, and that would leave me at minus five. So I could also answer that minus one and minus five are on either side of negative three, and negative three lies halfway between minus one and minus five. It also lies halfway between plus one and minus seven. So we could do really an infinite number of answers for this particular question. For question number, number 11, let's read it through. One day the temperature in Wabash Lake, Newfoundland was minus 41. In Pelly Bay, Nunavut, it was minus 51 degrees Celsius. The temperature in Churchill, Manitoba was halfway between these temperatures. What was the temperature in Churchill? Well, if we're going to draw a number line, we could just draw a line in this case. So I'm going to draw out my line and maybe we'll put some tick marks on it. One, two, they're not going to be exactly perfectly spaced. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and we'll just leave it at that. Now temperature normally of course is done vertically, but you could do it horizontally as well, but in this case we don't need a zero. Why? Because we're looking at temperatures of minus 41 and minus 51. The big key is what's bigger, what's smaller. Now 51 is a bigger number, than 41, but if it's positive, but if it's negative, negative 51 is smaller than negative 41. So it goes backwards in the negatives. So if way over here some way is, is 0, and let's say we skip all the way, and over here we have minus 41, we're going to count 10 to get to minus 51. So 1, 2, 3, 4, let me count it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so this is going to be minus 51 degrees Celsius, and here we're talking about degrees Celsius. Um, so we need to figure out what's in between. Well, between minus 41 and minus 51, we found out we took 10 steps. So 5 steps is going to be halfway. So 10 divided by 2 is going to be halfway. So if we take 5 steps, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's going to be our middle temperature. So minus 41, and then we just count. Minus 42, 43, 44, 45, and 46. So minus 46 is going to be our answer 
for the temperature that is between minus 41 and minus 51. Question number 12. Copy each pattern. Extend the pattern for three more terms. Describe each pattern in words. So we have minus 5, minus 3, minus 1, plus 1. Well, we've covered this already, so we can clearly see minus 5 is 2 over, or in other words, plus 2 to get to minus 3. From minus 3 to get to minus 1, it's also plus 2. From minus 1 to get to plus 1, it's also plus 2. So we have a very simple pattern where we're just simply adding 2. So the next three terms, well, we would do 1 plus 2, so our next term would be 3, and then our next term would be 3 plus 2, or 5, and then 5 plus 2, which is 7. And to describe the pattern, as usual, we say, what are we going to start with? So we start at, in this case, minus 5, and then add 2 to get the next term. And that's it. For a. Let's look at the next one. So minus, sorry, plus 7 going to plus 4. Well, we're subtracting 3 in this case. Plus 4 to plus 1, again, we've subtracted 3. Plus 1 to minus 2, well, on a number line, that's also subtracting 3. So this is very simply subtracting 3 each time. So we would have minus 5, minus 8, and minus 11. So, in words, we would write down, start at plus 7, start at positive 7, and subtract 3 to get the next term. the next question, C. So C, we start at minus 20, and we go to minus 18. So that's getting bigger in this case. We are going to be adding to minus 6, 18 to minus 16, again, adding to. Minus 16 to minus 14, adding to. So we keep adding to. So our next term will be minus 12, then minus 10, then minus 8. So in this case, we are going to start at minus 20 and add 2 to get to the next term. Okay, and let's look at D. So starting at minus 5, we are getting lower, we are getting smaller. Minus 5 to minus 10 means we're going down, moving left on the number line. So that's subtracting by 5. Similarly, minus 10 to minus 15, we're subtracting another 5. Minus 15 to minus 20, subtracting another 5. So our next term would be minus 25, then minus 30, then minus 35. So in this case, we are starting at minus 5 and subtract 5 to get the next term. I'll just write to get next term. Nice and easy.